Hello fellow Terrans, Princess and the Bear here. Today we're at the Wonders of Zaran Dandar Pavilion. Yes. For a Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind Passholder Edition. We are so excited. The line was actually kind of short, so we are here to go in and ride this ride. Tell you what we think about it. Or rewind. So we're gonna head inside and come along with us. Let's go back inside. Subscribe. You heard the girl. Did you know that your scientists discovered a planet with three suns in your own galaxy? Your scientists named this planet. on structures, biofuels in our waterways, and algae clusters scattered throughout the sea. Two giant dams bridge our main canal and generate hydropower from factories and technology centers. Even our citizens generate energy as they travel across inverse roadways and pedestrian paths. Getting around Xandar couldn't be easier. Our, our next rank is Denari. Here is one of our most famous. Denari and Coffin Sol was a highly horizons. Also want to see the energy, dinosaurs, and of course, here the veggie veggie fruit. It's the best. Across the galaxy. Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayal, Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience.
Welcome, people of Epcot, Epcotters, Epcotians, citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on? Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrence. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. Cosmic Rerun. Now, we cut the pre-show, part of the pre-show, and we didn't film the ride because I can tell you from experience, there's absolutely zero point in us filming that ride. You would not get the true sort of nature of how the ride goes. There's no like steep drop to crazy. It's, it's a lot of banks and like controlled spins. It turns Half the spins, not even full spins. The turning like um, ride vehicle. Yeah, it's, it's more like a, it. a dog fight through space. So it's kind of hard to capture in camera. Uh, but if you're coming here, even if you're not a coaster person, we think this is a good ride to come on. It's 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 a, it's a full story from beginning to end, and the ride movement works into the story. So it's not just crazy trying to scare you or make you feel like you're going to die or anything like that. It is a fun ride that's kind of hard to compare to anything else in the park. I think it's a unique ride. I think it's like Space Mountain meets Aerosmith with some elements of test track. Yeah. No crazy loops, no crazy drops, but all of that all in one. And I think it's uniquely Epcot and Guardians of the Galaxy. 100%, I love Epcot. So for all you Epcot stands out there, I'm sorry, this ride is the new best ride at Epcot. And, and you're just gonna be eat that. There is some tributes to Ellen on this ride. If you wait around, you look hard enough, you will see them. Yep. Don't ignore the queue. the queue. Look through all the queue, enjoy the story. There's some hidden Mickeys in there for everybody, some actual hidden Mickeys, not just three circles thrown together. You know what I mean? Yes. But I think this is gonna be a fabulous addition to Epcot when it fully opens Memorial Day weekend. Correct, and if you are coming for the pass holder preview, you are only going to be able to ride it one time. I know there's been some discussion about riding it multiple times and other previews you may have been able to do that. The pass holder preview is not one of them. Yep, and you can get like a six song rotation. This is definitely a ride that it's gonna take more than once to see everything. We uh, you definitely got, gotta ride this more than one time. We got blonde when it opens. this time when we went. Um, we have ridden it before and the last time we went on it we had Disco Inferno. But, but if you guys have any questions for this about this ride, of course, let us know in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. If there's anything else you'd like to see us do here at Epcot or Epcode, that's also gonna be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And comment, otherwise Bear is just going to leave the Nova Core. Or he's going to leave Earth and join the Nova Core and never come back. This country keeps going like it's going. I might do that anyway. Rude. But you heard the girl. <laughs>